Now, guys, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. This is what the next two years could look like with interest rate increases being factored in. So essentially, these increases can cost you an extra $43 a week on average, or they can cost you an extra $182 a week on average. The difference is if you do something, you can mitigate your risk. If you do nothing, well, then you're going to have the most exposure. The difference of doing something compared to doing nothing is 140 bucks a week or $7,250 over two years. That is a lot of money and it's not very hard to do something. So let me tell you how I got to these numbers because it's important to understand the data behind this. Now we've made a few assumptions that you have a $400,000 mortgage. We're going to forecast an increase of 1.5% over the next two years which is in line with what most people have been saying, especially given there's already been a 25 basis point increase um, in, at the start of May. So getting you on to one of the market's top deals at 2.09% with a 4,000 cash back, this opens the door to effectively putting yourself in the best position. Now, after we factor in the switching fees involved from the government and your current bank of discharging, it's effectively $3,250 you're up. So that's the 4,000 cash back from the bank minus total fees of refinancing, you're $3,250 up. Now, the way we've done this is we've forecasted four or five or even six interest rate increases over a two-year period. Now, extra interest here is how much money these in increases are going to cost you. So this is when the first one happens. You're going to be down another 83 bucks a month. The second one, the third one, the fourth one, fifth one, and the, even the sixth one. And that's making the assumption all this happens in two years. So in this scenario here, because of the interest rate increases over the next two years, it does cost an extra $5,492. However, that $5,492 is mitigated by the cashback saving, the net cashback saving after all fees. So the real cost of this to you is, is $2,242 over two years or really $43 a week. Now, given everything that's being said out there, $43 a week, it's not too bad. It's manageable. Now, let's look at another scenario where you do nothing, which is pretty much stay in the same position you're in. Now, in this position, you're not going to get a cash back because you're not switching over. And you're paying something called a bank loyalty tax. And what that effectively means is you're just on a higher rate because you've done nothing. So if you're starting at 2.59, you're already, already behind. And after 24 months, because the same increases are going to happen, it gets to the point where it's cost you $9,492 in extra interest. Now, after we factor that in and we don't have the cashback saving, the weekly cost of that on average is $182. So you can kind of see here that by doing something and putting yourself in the best position, you're mitigating how much it's going to cost you. We know rates are going to go up. We know it's very likely your repayments are going to go up. So we just need to do the absolute best thing now to reduce risk. And as you can see here, $43 a week, compared to $182 a week, guys. So really encourage you to do something about this. We're here to help. Um, of course, remember, this is not financial advice. This is just an opinion. And it's really good to look at things over a 24-month period with some data and you know, not emotions and what the news is telling you.